hi guys welcome back to my channel i've literally just sat down to start filming this and of course as i do somebody is doing like roadworks or something so if you can hear that noisy noise i'm hoping it'll stop soon but yeah i'm sorry it's just typical isn't it um so we will just try to ignore that the very noisy noisy outside world and talk about all things from b&m because i have obviously been shopping again and yeah i actually got quite a bit of stuff so i'm excited to go through all of my purchases with you um loads of nice things for christmas you know just that is the general theme of my shopping trips at the moment i will say though i am really struggling today with like tiredness you might have heard me moaning <laughs> before about my problems with sleep and how little sleep I get or I certainly have said about it on Instagram because I've asked some of you guys I'm sure some of you gave me some tips for like um, insomnia still something that I really need to work on but something that has actually made me really realize how bad my sleep pattern is and how much I need to address it is an app called shut eye they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try out their app and obviously give it a bit of a review let you guys know what I thought of it and genuinely probably one of the most eye-opening like best things I've decided to do when it comes to like taking care of myself because I'm realizing that I really don't get a lot of sleep and it is not good for me um, and I need to do something about it so what should I is is an app for your phone it tracks your sleep and it can help you learn from your sleep cycle and one of the features of it that I love so much is you can pick um, different things for it to pick up recording so you can have like snoring animal noises various different noises if you want to hear like if you talk in your sleep and also you can put on really relaxing music meditation i have done several different ones and yeah they're really good so depending if you want to go to sleep to like some like crashing waves or if you want somebody talking to you about how to relax yourself or music it's really helpful there's some really good little features of it also there's an like a nice soft wake-up call so I set mine for like half six in the morning and from six o'clock it like gently wake you up so it's really it's really really good and then yeah you just keep it on charge all night check your phone in the morning and you can see how much sleep you're getting what's deep sleep um light sleep how long you're awake for if you were chatting all night in your sleep it's just really interesting to find all this out i'm gonna leave all the details down below for the app but yeah i'm really grateful for doing this collaboration with them because it's definitely something that i feel like i needed it came at the right time and if anybody has got any tips for insomnia then they would be greatly appreciated because I need matchsticks to keep these open. There's only so much coffee you can have, isn't there? But anyway, the excitement of going to B&M certainly woke me up. So I will go through all of my lovely purchases from there with you now. I got a lot of gifts, which is pleasing. I will say though, like I was going to film whilst I was in there. Now I did a walk around B&M come shop with me video, not, it's probably in October and the range was amazing loads of christmas stuff if you haven't watched it then that has got to like give you a good idea what is what is in b&m this christmas and i thought because it'd been a little while that i could go around again and film but actually a lot of stuff has gone they didn't have anything particularly new in there just like a couple of bits so i did film but i'm not 100 percent sure whether there is even enough worth showing you but yeah there was quite a lot of empty spaces like a lot of the Christmas stuff is just gone, um, but I did spot a few things. Obviously I did, more than a few. Yeah, so gift ideas. This I spotted at the till. Have a person in mind that will really like this. I think it was about 22 pounds. Let me go find my receipt. The annoying thing is with my receipt, is it was absolutely chucking it down when I walked out of the shop and it has got really soggy, like the water's gone in the bag. So that's annoying, but I can confirm from piecing it back together that this set of Calvin Klein perfumes was £20.99. So you have got five different fragrances in there. You've got the Cal CK1, Eternity for Women, Euphoria. Euphoria, that was like one of my um, first ever perfumes that I had. I remember wearing that as a teen. I'd love to know what everybody's like first perfume was when they were a teenager because that and Ghost, Deep Night and the other one, like they were another couple of scents that really bring back memories of me being a teen. And um, we've got Eternity Air and CK1, which is like in a different style bottle. It must be like a special one. So yeah, what's the size of them? They are all 
four or five mil each and then two on the end of 10 mil so yeah quite a lot of perfumes there for 20 pound um, and it's just a good selection it's good if you're not 100 percent sure what somebody likes because perfume is quite a personal thing isn't it if you don't know specifically what somebody likes then it can be quite a tricky one to get but i do think it's a nice gift to receive as well so with this you've got a good selection of little mini perfumes you could even put these in stockings like take them out of the packaging and give them like split them up into different people's gifts um which i think would be quite nice but yeah i just spotted them in like a basket at the till so i thought that would be a perfect gift i love this range like these diffusers and candles and wax melt sets you've got like different scents that say different things i think some say relax that are obviously different scents to this but this ylang ylang rose and patchouli smells so good so i got this one in that scent that says unwind and it is just a reed diffuser it's only four pound i think out of the packaging and everything they just look really expensive yeah they're they're, they're really nice looking diffusers i think a diffuser is a great gift for somebody one that you can't really go wrong with to be honest and to go along with that i also got the wax melts which are only one pound fifty again they look nice i mean i just the fact they're black like this this sort of color combination all looks quite nice i think in a hamper these two and i got something else as well oh i'll show you. yeah i've got a um a wax melt burner but this scent this ylang ylang rose and patchouli oh it smells so expensive i really really like it so you get nine wax melts in that for one pound fifty reed diffuser for four pound and then i thought those two so what we at five pound fifty along with this gorgeous little tea light wax melt burner for three pound what's that eight pound fifty an eight pound fifty gift which i just think these three together put it in a nice little basket or a gift bag really really lovely gift and pretty inexpensive or if you could just do those two together, I mean, £4.50 gift. Put a few tea lights with it as well. Maybe put a few tea lights in a jar. That would be really nice. You can get those nice. I was looking for some, but they didn't have any in there. Like little fancy jars of matches. That would be really nice as well to go um, along with that sort of thing. I'd be very happy if anybody wanted to buy me one of these this Christmas. Um, things to make the house smell nice. Can't go wrong with that. Right, something else that I got. I feel like I'm in headphone hell at the moment. To cut a very long and boring story short, lost my headphones for my phone. Bought some like cheap AirPods, lost them. Bought some more headphones. They didn't have the right connector on them. So I got one of these. I would have rather have not paid ten pounds, but I just really miss having when I'm walking to have that have my headphones with me so this is a lightning headphone adapter for iphones so i'm hoping now that the headphones that i did buy will now work for my iphone with this adapter so yeah i never realized it would be so difficult to get the right headphones for my iphone maybe it's me maybe i'm just a bit daft but yeah it was 10 pound for this which isn't cheap but it is a good one for stockings that sort of thing you know like phone chargers and i know it's not like the most exciting but I feel like it is something that people just never have enough of. Headphones, AirPods, and all the wires and things that people need. Power banks, extra fast chargers, and all of that sort of stuff I think is a good one to go in stockings for people. Especially for like teens and things, it's a good stocking filler. And I also got one of these, which is a three-in-one charging cable. This would be great. This was five pounds. They had like loads of different nice coloured ones as well. So I got this one in like pink in silver they had like gold as well it is a quick charger high speed transfer flexible cover charger three different connectors great for families because like this would be great for us because the, the boys have like their tablets toby now has a phone and i do and everything's different isn't it so yeah this will come in really handy so it's like a one a one for all sort of thing so yeah that's and it's six foot long because charges are just never long enough are they another good one for stockings i think they also had loads of baking kits like on the end of an aisle uh, all christmas related like they had meringue penguins you could make they had dinosaur biscuits different cakes you could make like loads of gorgeous baking sets to do with kids i can't tell you how much they were unfortunately because the price has been completely ripped off the soggy receipt unfortunately but yeah these are going to be good for doing with the kids archie really wants to make santa many 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 biscuits this year so i just thought that was a good activity for us to do i also got some envelopes so as i'm filming this it is a couple of days into december so this still doesn't sound great but i actually don't have advent calendars for the boys so the reason being we had to isolate for quite a while whilst we were waiting for archie's test results my plan to get them 
then didn't happen because we didn't go anywhere i couldn't get any in my like food shop either and now it's got to that point where i can't find any in the shops so i need to come up with something so what i thought i would maybe do is hang up a load of envelopes and put numbers on them and put treats inside them for the kids and just hope that that would work like i was trying to find some nice little gift bags they had like little sacks that i thought would work really well with their initials on but of course they didn't have one of the initials that i wanted so then i thought well i just won't get any of them so i thought envelopes is a pretty cheap idea they are one pound for a pack of 50 i have a hundred um and yeah i might do that for those three of them i just have no idea where i'm gonna put it yet but I've also bought lots of sweets to go in there. So that's the plan. Try and create some sort of advent calendar each for them because I feel awful, awful at the moment that they don't have one. We shall see how that turns out. They're probably going to like it even more because with advent calendars a lot of the time it's quite little. I have only just bought like mawams and things but I'm sure they'll be very happy once I've figured out how on earth I'm going to do it. So yeah, I just got like loads of sweets like this because Tobes doesn't like chocolate. If I got the other two chocolate and I got Toby sweets, then they would probably want sweets. So I'm better off just getting sweets for them all. So I got some of the Mawam block that come in like little packs. And then I also got a big selection of Mawams because they're just like a hit for all three of them. They all like them. So I will put them into all the envelopes this evening and get them ready for them. I also got three rolls of wrapping paper whilst I was in there. So I tend to wrap whatever's off me for the kids i will wrap their presents in their own wrapping paper just so it doesn't cause any confusion on the morning when they are like tearing paper off everything i find that easier if they know that anything um, of theirs is wrapped in a certain paper then they're not going to accidentally open one of their brothers and no one's going to end up like having tears saying that was mine all of that thing there's no confusion with me doing it this way so i got three of these rolls for 99p i think they were this one's so cute it's got little hedgehogs on it and little woodland creatures they're all they're all really nice to be fair they had loads they also had some of the like really big long rolls as well for if you've got any big things to wrap up but yeah just a pound each and they are 12 meters long that just tends to be where i get all my wrapping paper from places like b&m and home bargains and yeah i am looking forward to getting some of that done to be honest i'm gonna do a wrap with me video and get organized and get everything wrapped and done i also got some tissue paper because i'm just thinking that this is going to come in as well for a pound each just really good for you know like if you've if you've not had chance to wrap something or you're not very good at wrapping or you just don't like it then putting stuff in a gift bag and just putting a bit of this on top is always good or obviously putting in the bottom of hampers yeah just comes in for lots and lots of things so they have different colors as well i got the gold and and yeah a pound each and you get quite a lot six pack of tissue paper so i've got plenty there i got some dry shampoo as well because i haven't bought this for so long and i really needed to get some so i got the batiste cherry scent i have tried different dry shampoos cheaper ones and i never find them as good as this brand so i've gone back to this one but yeah you just need it don't you well, i need it i'm not blessed with that hair that you can just wash like once a week like my hair is just like half an hour after i've washed it it's like yeah wash me again um so i really needed to get some of this and b&m is always a good place to get it i also got one of these i'm an advertiser's dream it's got it's got penguins on it oh just love it i'm not going to want to use it they had like a few different christmasy themed ones and why not i just thought i'm gonna get myself a uh, penguin decorated minky because that's adulting isn't it and i don't know how much it was this receipt's ridiculous now trying to find anything on here absolutely disintegrating oh who knows that's ripped off what are they about a pound maybe they're more than that maybe they're two pounds i think they might be two pound not sure <laughs> yeah they've got some cute designs anyway in b&m also some christmas chocolates it's not christmas without these things is it these are like i don't know if it's just my family but i feel like a lot of people get these for the dad these are like dad chocolates and th these are for my dad so we've got after eights and the orange matchmakers i mean the mint ones as well i'm a big fan of them but yeah they're just standard christmas items it would feel weird without them things like this and a tin of quality streets and a chocolate orange you just need them don't you it's just part of the tradition 20 percent less packaging oh very good matchmakers i remember as a kid if my dad ever got any of these we always laugh because as a kid would go and take plywood 
take them out of the little wrapper but leave the wrapper in so it looked like there was still loads in there but you'd be like there'd be none left because I'd have just sneaked them all out the wrappers um, but yeah <laughs> I do love an after eight and a matchmaker. I also got some Smarties. This is going to go in one of the boys' stockings. They've got like just the individual colours. So they do like the pink on their own. I think they do the orange ones as well. And I got the blue ones because it's just more festive. <laughs> so they were a pound for a tube of them and they are just perfect, aren't they? All of those tubes of chocolates and things to go in the stockings. I also got some more shampoo and conditioner. These, I always, I like Alvive. I, I can't use it for absolutely ages before my hair gets sick of it. Like I'm like that with a lot of shampoos. Like I can use things for a certain amount of time and then I need to change it again and go to a different brand until I can go back to this one. But I do really like Alvive. It makes my hair pretty soft. I got the, what is this one? Extraordinary Oil, Nourishing Shampoo and the nourishing conditioner which were about two pound each in B&M. They also had the big ones as well which I think are about four pound each um, or 3 99 But yeah I always find this quite a good shampoo and conditioner. And then a couple of other bits of chocolate because I'm buying a lot of that lately. Dill has been telling me how much he loves these so I thought that is a good opportunity for me to get some. Again good for stockings um, because yeah he loves these hippos. I love these to be honest. I hope I can make these last because these are so so nice whatever the cream is that's inside these and like the same with the buenos that they do oh i love them and then some smarties as well which is going to go in a gift idea that i have that i'm going to put together i'm hopefully going to do a video soon of some more like diy gift ideas they're going to be used for that and there we go that is my purchases for today i hope that you enjoyed this video also just to say if you've got instagram and you don't follow me it'd be really nice if you came over and said hi over there my instagram is carly elizabeth underscore kiss i would love that and yeah if you enjoyed this video it'd be great if you gave it a big thumbs up i really appreciate it i'm absolutely Absolutely gobsmacked that there is 11,000 people subscribed to my channel and I know I haven't really made much of a point of saying about that but that's just because that is just still still sinking in it was still sinking in when it went to 10,000 so yeah um, that's a big big deal I'm very 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 happy about that and I appreciate anybody that subscribed and yeah I would love to see you again for my next one take care everyone bye